Hey everybody, this is White Armor Consulting, and today I'm going to show you how to take full control of your privacy while using Chrome using a special extension. Stay tuned. So this extension is called Umatrix. I'm going to show you the basics of how it works, and then you can play around with it. If you have any advanced questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer them. For now, let's begin. We'll install it, and then we'll go through the basics of how it works, and some of the basic settings, and then you can have some fun, see how, how it works out for you. Open up Chrome, type in Umatrix in Google, and you're going to look for Umatrix in the Chrome Web Store. You're going to hit Add to Chrome, Add Extension, and then we're not going to worry about signing in. Let's X out of that, and you're all done. Umatrix is installed. So how Umatrix work, works is when you're surfing web pages, you're going to notice the page will load. And as we know, there's always web ads and backend connections being made to this page. If we want to know what those connections are, Umatrix will now show us those URLs that it uses to load its page, as well as web ads that it uses to display those ads. And you can go through the list of these host names and you can block them. Now I'm going to go through the colors and the different options, and then you can play around and see how you enjoy Umatrix and see if you can control your, your browsing. Every web page you visit will be in this state, and then you can block and allow and go from there. So first, you'll notice the dark green. That means permanently whitelisted. The light green means allowed. The light red means denied. And the dark red means permanently denied. The row at the top here, this is the types of requests made by web pages. So they might make a cookie request, a CSS request, an image request. And then you have the ability to deny those requests from those domains at your disposal. At the top here, you'll notice there is a blue, a dark blue color as well. This dark blue means that you're only going to affect the, st the site that you're on, www.cnn.com, but it will not affect the subdomains to this domain. Subdomains being cdn.cnn.com and all these other domains as you can see here. If you want to affect all these domains and have it permanently stick, you want to select the domain level, which is the dark blue over the name of the web page you're visiting, and then go ahead and make your changes. How you make your changes, there's two columns to every square. The upper square will allow it. The bottom square will deny it. And if you want to revert the changes you made, because you're not sure what it's going to do, or it blocks something on a page that you need, before you hit the save button, you can always hit the little eraser icon, and that'll revert the changes. From here, you'll notice these this little star or asterisk. When you click that, that means it's globally going to change whatever you make. Whatever changes you make, it's going to globally accept those changes for every website you visit. And you never have to worry about uh, what you're allowing or denying because this is basically going to persist through everything. What I would say is focus on the domain levels, learn the domains that you're visiting and block websites that you don't know what are what they are and learn how to make web pages load properly without their web ads and without the malicious content trying to load in the background as well because there are some domains that we don't know of and they are coming from malicious sources and they infect our pcs you'll notice on the left hand side there's these little arrows that point upwards and what that does is that collapses if you go to the all column you'll see when you hit that arrow or click it it collapses all the domains and all their subdomains into one easy readable column and row. So as you can see, star.cnn.com is all the domains below it. And any changes you make in this row are gonna affect that domain and all the subdomains within it. So if you're not sure, you can always collapse everything and then go through as as you can see here, this is ads-twitter.com. Maybe we don't want to allow that permanently and then we save it and we reload after that 
you're pretty much done. Go through the different subdomains and in the, in the, the domains that you want to block or allow and start figuring out what makes a page work. Even if you leave it as the default and you, it'll still at least show you what's connecting to your browser. And if there's something on there that's annoying you or it's a pop-up, you can figure out what it is and then deny it and save and reload. Now, if you want to only, let's say you want to deny something permanently, you don't want scripts to ever run on a page, you can go to the root set it to permanently blacklisted and hit save. Now, any time you visit any site, doesn't matter what level, scripts are always going to be denied for every domain. As you can see here, the matrix shows light red, which is denied, but scripts are permanently denied. And that's because it's within the root of the entire matrix. From here, what we want to do is we want to go to the options, which is this little gear up at the top left hand corner. And in here, we're going to change a couple of settings because we want to make sure that matrix U matrix is locked down as much as possible. From here, I want you to turn on delete blocked cookies, delete non blocked session cookies, delete local storage, clear browsing cache every 60 minutes, spoof HTTP refer string of third party requests. And this one here, strict HTTP forbid mixed content. Now I don't advise turning this one on. Uh, it tends to break a lot of web pages right now. If you can handle pages not loading HTTP content through HTTPS content, then I would say turn it on. And you're going to notice a lot of pages not being able to load. Um, but you don't really need to have it on because uh, Umatrix will do most of the work for you. After you turn all those on, that's perfect. You can come up here. There's any options you want to turn on. There, it's completely your choice. There's also colorblind friendly. Next, we're going to go to my rules. For now, we're going to leave this blank. We're going to skip it. We're going to go to assets. From here, I want to make sure that all these options are turned on and you hit update now. So what this does is anything in these lists, malware domains, uh, anything in these lists are going to be denied permanently by Umatrix and they track the lists that are from third party websites that find these malware domains and then Umatrix will block them for you automatically. And if you ever have a site that isn't loading and it's because it was added onto this list, you can always uh, purge all the cache and reload the websites and you should be good to go. After that, go to more. We're, gonna, we're not gonna touch that. And about, we're not gonna touch this, but in about, if you screw up your Umatrix and you wanna reset the defaults, this is where you'll find it. If you also wanna back up your Umatrix configuration, there's the button right there. And then you can restore if you ever uh, need to restore it onto either a phone or another computer. From here, we're gonna go to my rules. Now my rules has the ability to do exactly what you saw with CNN through this matrix. My rules allows you to do it through code. Now there are ways that if you go to certain websites and you just want Let's say as an example, you want only YouTube to load on YouTube, but you don't want YouTube to load on any other web page. As you can see here, anything to do with YouTube is denied. But if I go to YouTube, it should be allowed unless the scripts are being blocked. So we go back to matrix and we notice scripts are denied for YouTube because we made it a root change. So now what we want to do we want to go to youtube.com and we want to allow scripts and as you can see here it's only going to allow it to www.youtube.com and youtube.com from here you're going to hit save and reload and youtube should start reloading we go back we need to make sure there's also youtube img.com which is a content domain for youtube and we need to allow this as well. So we're going to permanently allow it, save and reload. And then you'll notice YouTube start loading. If we go back to the other pages that have YouTube, those should still be denied because this is an embedded YouTube on someone else's page. And when you look here, 
you'll notice scripts for white armor is still denied for that YouTube domain. But if I go back to YouTube under Umatrix, that's allowed. And that's pretty much it. If you found this video useful or you have any comments for any more advanced ways of using Umatrix, please leave them in the comments below. Please give it a thumbs up. If you like it, subscribe and thanks.